She's gone from being like a complete and utter like sad sack who's helpless and gets murdered as a result of being near Dante to controlling her entire own domain of hell. You don't have to obey him. Obey me, a another man who has ownership over you and has lied repeatedly. I'm like, I'm seriously getting some bad vibes for this ending. If this ending does not is not the twist that I'm hoping of, like Dante going, "Wow, I'm oh for fuck's sake!" So now they're just adding more. It is what they do. If this is an enemy I've already beaten like a dozen times. Well, they're just putting a thing on it now where it just I have to shoot it with my Bible rays to get rid of this fire. Look, just give it all this stupid armor. I can't grab it. They're giving it like, you know, just charge attacks that are unblockable. There we go, final thing. Fuck that. So I actually attack it with all of my moveset now. Notice it has no hit stun whatsoever. It doesn't like seem to take damage or anything. It just, it just gets hit. Absolve. So that's like the basic enemy I've been fighting the entire game. Where it takes a minute longer to kill. For no reason. And it has a bunch of unseeable attacks that do shit ton of damage and go through my block and guard. Hell yeah. <gasps> Someone's been good. Who the fuck's you? You sound rad. Who are you? Face the harlot! What a name. Once a beauty now, stricken and broke, she relinquished or relished watching men kill one another for the chance to sleep with her. Fuck yeah! You know what? You can go to heaven. And that's the thing. I love that. That it's being framed as a bad thing that men got so fucking like um, uh, obsessed with her. They killed each other. How is that her fault? How is it her fault that she was so good looking that men just couldn't deal and killed each other for a chance to sleep with her? Like, yes, she enjoyed it and like pride is a sin or whatever, but. I still don't get how that's a bad thing. That's what it is. she was girl bossing. She was girl bossing, she was gaslighting. Like just living her best life. And if one thing this game's taught me, it's like, man. That's me, the only fact, the original. The original girl boss. That's right, you go up there. Your soul is free. Theus the harlot, living her best life. Out there, girl bossing everywhere. And that's one thing this game has taught me. It's like, man, there's a good, there's a reason I'm not religious. Like all the stuff that people have been like supposedly punished for down here, fuck that. Like she's lower down in hell than like Attila the Hun. A person like personally murdered, slaughtered, raped, and pillaged thousands. What does she do? She was really hot, and guys couldn't deal. Like, how's that her problem? Do you know what that sounds like? That sounds like someone else's problem to me. Let's do it. Gimme. Give Gimme give that Bible juice. Why are they leaving things that power me up down here? Ugh, ugh, why is there not an easy way to open doors in hell? Panderers and seducers! That's a rad statue. That's like a statue that'd be in like a dominatrix's office. That's right, make me wait. Make me wait the entire time. That's like, look at that. Just send out my Bible rays. I sent the girl boss to heaven. Her only crime was being rad. It's really frustrating, I just keep trying to move the camera. But I forget this is the era of like dodge being on the right stick and no free camera movement. <gasps> okay, for no reason I've got infinite magic. Why is this the first time we've got a bonus section? What the fuck's going on? Okay, infinite magic. T pose on fucker. Yeah, T pose! Yeah! Infinite magic. 
The Bible. We're gonna Bible everyone. Let's go. What do you do? We're in, we're in good boy mode, and my Bible is just so strong. Look at this. This is the power. This is the power. Fuck you. Let's do it. T pose. T pose on fuckers. Oh. How about you go fuck yourself? How about you go fuck yourself? What do you do? How, how do you stop this man? How do you stop this man? Look at him. Fuck it. T pose on the babies. Oh, for dominance. Ugh. Look at him. Why is that the first time they've done that in this entire game? I'm six hours in and that was so fun. There should have been one of them every level. That was super fun. Like, oh man, like this game, it wants... It has some stuff in there that would make it, as, as, as I mentioned, like... This could be a 6 or 7 out of 10, easily. If they just took out this shit and just leaned into it's supposed to be a power fantasy. Why are they making enemies that are difficult to kill and make and already make me struggle to use my already super limited move set? Just lean into like that kind of thing. It doesn't have to be challenging. It can just be fun. Video games can be fun. I don't get what their obsession is with like trying to pad out the runtime. I guess this is the era of like. You could put in a review as a positive, like, over 30 hours of game time. It's like, but is it fun? So like, well, you can play it for, like, is it fun? It's like, Revengeance, you can complete that shit in three hours, and I play that every week because it's fun. I'm never replaying this shit. Flatterers! Okay, so is there a historical, dis like, or more archaic... Like, name for flattery? Like, is that like an archaic term that I'm not familiar with? Because is flattery just like telling people that they've got a big dick? Or is it used in the sense of like you are doing it disingenuously and you're using it to like gain power or something like that? Get a hundred hit combo! Okay! Okay, I'm liking this! <gasps> Let's go, let's get a hundred hit Bible cop. Oh, got hit. Oh, well, okay, you can combo after you've been hit. Excellent. In which case, we Bible him. Oh, are you kidding me? Right, so, immediately, where are my relics that let me do this? Uh, combo window. Increase the rate. Combo window. Perfect, let's get that equipped. Right away. Using your words to move up socially. So it's like... But not using them in a way that's, um, like, honest. Like, say someone, like, say, like, a genuine, paying someone a genuine compliment would be flattery, right? He's doing it in a way, like, you're trying to manipulate others. Oh, my God, this is awful. Okay, I take it back. This is awful. Like, this is getting rough. We have to abuse the fuck out of these area of effect attacks. Let's do this. Bible it up. Done! Bible! Oh, I've got an extra slot. Of course, I bought an extra one, didn't I? Of course, my relics. So I don't need that anymore. Let's get rid of the coins of Plutus. Uh, I want Dante's protected. No, thank you. Increase the combo window. Combo is not really useful. That thing. Uh, um, any successful block has a chance to stun the enemy. No, I want the one that's experience. Chance to deflect an incoming attack, pushing the enemy away. Sure. And holy level three. Let's go. That was scary up until I realised you don't need to hit the enemy with your scythe, or even that you can just do this and just area effect everything. And thanks to my rad Bible powers, that was super useful. So, flattery, I guess that would be a sin, but is, why would it be so low? Oh, that killed me. <laughs> this video game! It goes from like 0 to 100 so fast sometimes. 
Like, it goes from being, like, what I think it should be, which is a power fantasy, where it's like, fuck, you've got unlimited power, you've got the biggest dick in all of hell, go for it. To weird decisions like this that punish you for not paying attention. That's cool. Like, a mechanic like that shouldn't be in a game like this. I shouldn't be, like, having to pay attention that closely and get killed because the game decided it needed, like, a challenge or something now. Uh, corrupt politicians and clergy were considered a I guess that's one. And it is, like, it's a wide-ranging descriptor. And, yeah, I guess in the age of, like, like, when this poem was written, corrupt politicians in, like, you know, the era of Rome, that would be a bad thing. But. I know this one. I'm aware of this one. It's like these like popes who didn't like know. Whoa, well, I'm dead. Because you can't like change momentum in the air. Like the popes, because like yeah, the people who were in the highest position of authority should be held to higher standards. So if that, if flatterers does include politicians, I guess yeah, they should be further down. I was like taking it to understand like no regular people, but no, no. It makes sense that people in a position of authority should be held to higher standards, and as a result, subject to uh, more pe kill five enemies on the air bar. Let's go. Why is this the only part of the game that has all this cool shit? Air kills. Oh, and they've given me all the enemies that can't be knocked into the air easily. Fucking fantastic. What a great system. I'm going to make you fight enemies. That you can't easily knock into the air. Sick. Are they, are they really going to do this? <sighs> okay, what attack launched people into the air? Press and hold Y to launch nearby enemies into the air. Oh no. That didn't count. Awesome. I'm just going to take a minute. They got so close to making this fun. And then they decided at the last second, okay, get air kills, but we're going to fight enemies that can't be fucking launched into the air. Who made that decision? Look, they can't be launched. You have to take their shield off, but you kill them because I'm too powerful to get them down to that level of health. One, okay. Also, my, they gave me... I need to show this off. I need to explain. Right, so... Every move that I have in this game hits multiple enemies. Giant big scythe swings. They have introduced an enemy that here stands next to and in groups of other enemies. And look, when I attack, it will bump me with its shield. Hey, look. It bumps you with its shield. And they put that in groups of other enemies... That they're expecting me to kill using my giant wide ranging swings. So just every now and again, they knock me out of my regular swings. <sighs> and now they tell me to launch an enemy that can't be launched. Oh, okay. That one, for some reason now they can be launched and it's dead. Great. And that doesn't count as an air kill because you throw it into the ground. That is actually diabolical. I can't think of a decision in this game so far that is that anti-fun. Evil. So we're going to... I don't think it matters. I don't think there's anyone left to fucking punish. But we're going to edge mode again. I, I, I'm struggling to think of... Oh my god. And they just stun lock you. They just stun lock you with the unblockable hit. Yeah, they're making me fight an enemy, and but if I do the cool grab, aka a key part of Dante's moveset, it doesn't give me the air. Oh, now I've been stunned. That's great. Yeah, look, you see, you just land a lot, and they just stun lock you. Yeah. 
That is incredible. That's actually amazing that they do that. <laughs> they, they punish you. They punish you for doing anything other than just this simple combo. And the enemy, they just stun lock you. Look. They just stun lock you constantly, which is the hits lock. They, they, just, they just hit me out of the combo. God, that was bad. That was bad. Who thought that was a good idea? Right, they almost had it. They almost had a hype ending. I've got unlimited magic, do all these cool attacks. Oh, I'm increasing the power of my fucking T-Pose. Let's do that. It was like that. All they need to do is put in then a bunch of basic enemies with no shields. And just let me absolutely annihilate them with air combos. Instead, they did what I said. They made it last two or three minutes longer than it needed to, presumably to pad runtime or make it seem more difficult. Ooh! So we are in punish mode, so. I'm really not happy with how many of the people in this game that want me to punish are like fucking women. And what did you do? The blind prophet of Thebes judged the eighth circle of fraud. He's changed himself from a man to a woman. Really? I'm really sorry if I've got any trans folks in the audience. This game is framing that as a sin. And one that you have the choice to punish. Can we all just like, can we just take a moment and just read this? Can we just like read what is being put forward as a sin here? In this video game. Just, just everyone take, everyone take a minute to take your screenshots. Also as well, like, getting like fucking misgendered right there. Right there in the descriptor. I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to take a screenshot of this myself. Because this is fucking bad. This might be the worst. And then, you know, of Zack Snyder's face right in the fucking car. I'm gonna take a quick screenshot of that. And you know what the best bit is? Because I bet no fucker has played this game properly in years. And I bet no one streamed it with like a critical eye. They're probably like, oh, look at all these tits and boobs in this game. Let's just get, let's get a nice screenshot of that, shall we? Let's just like zoom it all in. Get that right there, shall we? Just edging it up. Just crop that. Just like, you know, later. Later use. Whoo! Whoo! We're back in Bible mode, are we? Okay. The deepest pits of hell are reserved for the worst of the worst. Fucking hell video get. I didn't think it could get worse. That legitimately might be the worst thing I've seen in a video game. Like, something like... From the description, to the way it's presented, to just how, like, horribly... Like, the fact it's presented as, like, you know... It is a morally correct choice to punish them for that. Like, I'm struggling to think of something that's, like, more abjectly offensive. And I mean, like, offensive in the sense of, like, not... Like, it's right. I mean, like, on objectionable moral grounds. It's like basic human dignity is being affronted by the way that was written and presented. Like, an affront to, like, the basic dignities of any person. Of, like, the most basic respect not being afforded. Amen. And I really, really hope that's, like, a, like, a mythological figure and not a real figure. From history, because there's like been a blend in this game. There's been like, you know, there's been real people from actual history, and then like, you know, some like uh, mythological figures and Bible figures and stuff. No ones that are based on like, you know, um, collected like unverified historical accounts. Like, I'm legitimately thinking that might be one of the worst moments like in a video game because the way the way that's presented. The, the false prophet? Okay, the false prophets, eh? Uh, I'll, I'll be honest, video game, you almost had me. Uh, you had me in the first half, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, come on, come on, I can make this jump. 
What are you, like, I, I think all hype has been... Stay in the air for eight. Okay. All hype has been deflated. So I've got to stay in the air for eight seconds. A common challenge in... No, you've got a great point. You are 100% in the right. So let's see if I can do it. So I need to stay in the air for eight seconds, which I think I may be able to do. One, two, three. Oh. Oh, this is going to be rough. Because you can't, because there's no way to cancel what I'm doing. Okay, so. I'm going to give this a few attempts on my own. And then what I'm going to do is look up how to do it. So, because uh, in like a Devil May Cry game, they often have challenges like staying there for 20 seconds. And that's really easy in Devil May Cry. You have things like called enemy step, where you can step off the enemy in midair. This game does not have that. So, I'm going to look at what attacks I have in midair and what ones will allow me to stay in the air or spam them one after the other. I don't give up any. So. Alright, so I'm just going to look up how to do this because I legitimately don't know what... Because there is no freedom in the combat in this game, so there's probably one very specific set of animations that I have to do to stay in the air, so... And I can't complete the game until I do this. Again, just dropping the ball at the last possible second. How, like, I like that. How do I stay in the air? Oh, okay. So, fittingly, because I'm in the circle of hell described as fraud, there is a way to fraudulently do this. And it is that animation I just did there. So if I do this, and I punish, and I just don't mash here. That's how you do it. So, you just, like, don't mash enough. This is amazing! Oh, come on! Oh, that's so good! That's so good! That the game is so shit that there is legitimately no way to stay in the air for 8 seconds doing any of the combat stuff. And you have to fucking fraud it out! That's so good! I just googled it and just like, top thing is just like, there's no way to do it that I found. Just do this, get this animation, and just mash B um, slowly. And that is fucking... Oh, the game's combat is so shit. You can't do its own fucking challenges. It's that bad. It's that bad. Oh, get wrecked, Dante's Inferno. Eat a... Oh, this game sucks ass. <laughs> oh, that's... <laughs> so good. And you're just killing me in cutscenes. Fuck it. Oh, so one of the reasons why that's really frustrating as well, is that some of these moments where you're on the elevators, Dante can't move. Like some of, oh, yeah, like some of them you can't move because the game's loading. So the fact that some of them kill you and some of them, oh, that's, oh, that's so good. Oh, it's just, it's all falling apart at the last second, this is incredible. How much worse could this get? How much worse? So we've had one of the most like morally like repugnant things I've seen written down in a video game. We've had just you know what this is? this is the encapsulation of everything I've discussed about this game. Of it's like even these challenges are representative of it. Of oh yeah, politicians! Among the worst. Fuck yeah! This is where they go. This is what you get. You like the public, you get this shit. Like it's representative of the game itself. Like the first bit, some promise, some interest, some hype even. Of like showing off the cool combat stuff that you can do. Now, you know, not cool in the sense it's fun to do or it's like mechanically interesting, but visually it is kind of neat. And I like that as well. As soon as we get to the politicians part, it's like fucking punish. But then it just starts to drop off of like, you know, the shit like all that, the horribly offensive stuff comes in and the bad combat and the limitations of it start to reveal itself. That's kind of incredible. And I bet the people... Oh, what's going on here? And I bet the people who made this game, they don't realise, like, how... Like... Meta that is. <gasps> Protect the innocents from the politicians. Let's go.
keep all innocents alive. No! Why did you really come Protect the innocents from my... No, send the Bible powers at them. Don't worry. Fuck you, let's go. I'll protect the innocents. Oh, let's go. You're back. Who's next? I'm just going to get in the second. The second these politicians spawn. Like, what an amazing thing in the video game as well. Of like, I need to protect innocent people from these like politicians who are coming in to get them. Got him. Is that a fucking Robocop over here? Protecting the innocent, serving the public trust. Man. Like, would it be in poor taste, like, make um, uh, like an Epstein's Island joke here? Of just protect, like, just these policies, like, just rambling towards people, like, hell yeah. Like, fair play to, like, these innocents, though, like, being stood there with swords, I'm like, I can take them. I can fucking take these policies. Like, they're living the dream of the proletariat right now, just, like, standing there with a sword, ready to gut their local politician for lying. Like, let's bring it back. Ooh, ooh, the waves. It's the fucking power waves. Just bust a wave. The Bible world. Let's go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, as well. Just another thing about video games, like challenges like this. Thirty seconds to a minute. Just thirty seconds to a minute. You don't need any more than that. Like, you should have hyped up this quickly. About 20, 30 seconds ago. That's the one. Taking out them politicians. There's those Republican senators coming in. Fuck yeah. Uh, eh. Dun. 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 dun, dun. Moving in. Now, how does anyone move around hell? This seems wildly inefficient. Now what about if Lucifer needs to go to like, I don't know, like the sixth circle of hell to get like, I don't know, a taco or something? I just think there's like shortcuts around hell. At least they've been like, you know, quite um, uh, friendly with the uh, the heels. They, get, like, they are refilling my magic and health between every wave, which is nice. Because earlier in the game, like I said, I did like a half play through this game on like normal mode and just... The game doesn't give you your health back between um, uh, checkpoints, so I just got to a point where so I had this much health and I can't do this combat challenge, I'm just dead. Because everything just hits you from off screen. You're right at home with the hypocrites! In this sixth ditch. The hypocrites. I feel like the politicians could be here as well. Now you could put politicians in this part as well. They'd fit right in. So what's my challenge? Well, that's fine. I don't use magic anyway. So what we got? We got no. Not allowed to use any magic. We're in edge mode. Let's do, let's go. First things first. Bible it up. Bible. <laughs> no, fuck you. I like as well the thing I'm killing. It's like crusades. Let's go. Right, give them all shield. Make them even harder to fight. Make them more annoying to fight. I love it. Like, nothing gets me like more high than just enemies that don't take damage and block everything. Like, who doesn't love fighting enemies that just, like block and knock you out with your cool attacks? You know what? Let's punish this one. This one gets punished. Yeah! Punishment! Get here. I just like combo punching this guy. Spin. It's so frustrating that you can't grab enemies with shields, and every enemy has a shield. Like, look at like they just the shields don't go away. 
Oh, yeah, bring it in. Power up. Challenge cancel. Escape. That is your, okay, that's kind of neat. It's kind of neat that the challenge gets cancelled. Because Dante just like cheats. I'm wondering though, is it like... Once you've gone past like a certain circle of hell, can you like commit the sins from the previous circle without getting in trouble? Because there's no one there to punish you for it. Is that like a thing? 